So I've taken these emblems off and uh, actually already started painting. I don't guess I got a picture before I started painting, but they all were pretty, pretty faded out. Um, I've done all the red and the black inside these letters. Um, and I may, that took one coat. It did pretty well. I may touch that up a little bit if it needs it. Um, I put a coat of white, painted white on the background of this one and it did not go on very thick but um, we'll see one maybe one more coat will cover better um, maybe I can put it on a little thicker but um, it's time consuming uh, takes a pretty good while but uh, I think the results are worth it and um, I'm also preparing the section where these attach on each side anyway um, so there was a there was a round seal right here and I took a picture of it before I sanded but I think it said 1973 and um, I don't know if there's any way to try to find a, uh, a little sticker like that um, maybe I could have one made or something I thought that was pretty neat um, but I've got that um, sanded off and, and smoothed down and uh, I've actually painted one coat on the other side. We'll take a look at that. So here's the other side and uh, here's the one coat of red that I've put on this side. It really it really pops. It's gonna, I think it's gonna look real good. I actually use the same paint that I've used on these hubs down here. So uh, I think that's going to look good when I get another coat or two of paint on there and then get these things, emblems painted and riveted back on. I think it'll look really nice. When I, when I did the white, I used uh, this brush, which is a, a larger, I got a, a pack of small brushes and this was the, the largest, but it still had a, a point on it. and. Um, I did the, the biggest part with this brush and then I had to come back with this one and uh, right now it doesn't have doesn't look like it's a fine point but when it's wet it is I've used it and it's it's kind of dried out but um, when painting this um, you really want to try to get the paint up all the way to the the top each of these surfaces all the way on the inside of all of these so there won't be any aluminum showing there so you see the red and then you just see the, the shiny uh, shiny aluminum on top of that and uh, you're gonna get it on on there on that top of that no matter how hard you try not to but I just take a little uh, paint thinner, get my finger just a little bit wet with paint thinner and just kind of rub back and forth on it and just it just takes that off and the finger doesn't go down and get on the other paint down below so uh, pretty time consuming but um, I think worth it in the end. The paint that I'm using was recommended by uh, one of the members of the Facebook Holiday Rambler owners uh, group uh, Randy and his emblems turned out real well so I thought I'd use the same paint and uh, so far it's uh, working really well. I'm still working on these emblems and it's a slow process but um, I'm making it through. I've got uh, one of these almost complete. I'm gonna have to go over the white uh, a little bit more to get good coverage on that. Um, got the white started on this one and not haven't done anything on that one. I've got the red and black uh, one coat on all of these and I may go back over and do touch up touch up a little bit on the red and black if I need to. But um, I did get the the red section on the camper painted. Got three coats of that on each side and uh, that turned out pretty nice. It's a beautiful day here camping in Tennessee got one of the emblems done and I'm working on the other two just got a 
finish up the, the white background and I'll go ahead and rivet those on when I get them done. Got a beautiful campsite here on Cordell Hall Lake. We've got a lot more videos to come, so if you enjoyed this video, you might want to consider subscribing by clicking on the wheel in the lower left hand corner. That way you can follow our progress uh, as we renovate and restore this 1973 Holiday Rambler.